All right, hello. I want to show you something in Back to the Future. Okay, and we'll go through some of the numbers involved with this. This is just something that I spotted just today or yesterday, as the case may be now. Um, and I don't. I have not done any research on whether other people have seen this and talked about it or said anything about the significance of it or what they think about it um, so I'll go through it and show you a couple of number jumps to do with it because it's quite interesting anyway we are at the you know back in Back to the Future 3 when they're at the the little town festival okay which is being held on this is important the 5th of September okay so it's a 9559 um, date uh, date numerology or you know reference date okay and this is when they're just going into the dance and we got this what most people would say is an 88 okay 808 okay so we've got the 88 referenced in this clock right well, I just noticed this is that when they take the picture here, please let me know if you've seen this before. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen it. Um, when they take this picture, as we click through it, we get to the big flash bang, okay, and we're going to see something. So there's a reference here to a big flash and a bang, okay, if we could ever get to it, and a big bright. Explosion here. Come on. Here's the explosion coming up. Oh, if I could ever get to it. Right, here's the explosion right now. Pay attention to the clock. Right, it was on 8 8. Now look what it changes to. Right after that big pop, big explosion. Okay. Now, one would assume it just clicks on one, um, but this hat, you know, it clicks on one minute, let's say. So we've gone from 8.8 to 8.9 here, but it kind of looks like it could almost be 8.10 to be quite honest, where it's sitting over the number 2 there. I mean, it's not directly middle to the number 2, but it just depends on the angle we're looking at the clock. And we are, it, it feels like we're down a little bit, looking up maybe a little bit at it. I don't know if we're dead level with it or what. So it's a difficult one to actually say exactly where this is supposed to be. And I also feel like maybe the spacing is off somewhere here as well. Anyway, that's something that you guys would have to go and look at and decide for yourself. But the, the clock actually changes. You have this big flash. There's, there is before, which most people agree with that is A8, or at least that's what's assumed. And then we get the flash. And you can see it just changed 8.9 maybe. Potentially 8.10. So potentially we could be going from 8.9 to 8.10. That's interesting with a big pop. Or we could be going from 88 to 89. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick with the 88, 89 for now on this decode. But I wanted to show you that because I thought that was pretty interesting because obviously this picture shows up a couple of times. Um, in Back to the Future 3, okay. Um, but of course, when the actual picture is taken there and that number changes, this is what we actually see in the final picture. We don't see that the 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 hand has moved on. So this is quite this is kind of interesting that they the, the actual picture that is taken here is of A8 rather than 8, 9, or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. So let me do you a couple of number jumps now. So the 5th of September is the date of the dance, right? And so let me show you this one first, right? Let me show you the two individual ones, okay? So if we go 88 days from the 5th of September, it takes us to December the 2nd. So that's a 1, 2, 2 number reference okay with 88 days there 122 let's go back now to the dollar bill and I'll just explain this but the 122 day jump in the dollar bill 
goes from 5 5, okay, the 5th of May. This is encoded in the dollar bill with all the leaves and berries and etc. We go from 5 5 through to Labor Day, which happens to be um, September the 4th, the day before this, with the 122 day jump. Okay, and then when we do 8 9. See, this takes us to a 120, a 123 reference here. Okay, and 123 from the fifth, from the fifth of May, the 55 that's in the dollar bill, is going to take us to the fifth of September. Okay, so those two separate numbers that are encoded in the clock there could be referencing what I call the Labor Day bill fold that's in the dollar bill, where uh, Washington's head pops up out of the dam uh, when it's folded just correctly. It concertinas up out of the dam, and you end up with um, Labor Day being referenced. And Labor Day, of course, this year at least was on uh, the 4th of September. Okay, so it's a 4 9 reference. And 4 9 is the number, of course, that comes before 50, which is 50 is the bullseye. Okay. So 50 is returning home or getting back to that point of balance, okay? You know, the Holy Spirit, um, the number five, okay? So this is kind of interesting in itself. The other thing that I thought was interesting is the fact that we changed from 8, eight, eight to 8, 9, and with our number jumps with the Hoover Dam, okay, because obviously that bill fold is referencing Washington coming up out of the Hoover Dam, I think. Um, with that bill fold, um, and with the with the number jumps I've been showing you with this 32,123 day jump, um, the Hoover Dam is going from 88 years old, okay, um, through to, I guess it's not really going to 89 years old, but it is, it's going to greater than 88 years old. In fact, it will actually... I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. But anyway, we passed we've passed the first 88 birthday for the Hoover Dam, okay? And so we're you know, we're we're moving on now to the next set of dates that's that's uh, that's encoded with the Hoover Dam, which is the the 1st of March date, okay? So this idea of moving from 88 to 89 and this thing with the queen dying on 89 um, and so what I wanted to show you was it's going from 88 to 89 okay with the with the number jump okay so what I thought was interesting about this 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 conversion um, from 88 to 89 and just writing it like this is it takes us to the date that I've been looking at, which is this is 11th of February, happens to be Super Bowl um, Sunday this year. This is encoded in those last few charts that I've shown you. Um, obviously, it's Washington's old calendar birthday, so it's obviously encoded in the dollar bill just through the the, the idea of his actual old calendar birthday. Um, and again, you know, I pet goat, we have this reference to Madonna again. I was just talking about Madonna in the last video. And here's, here's the Black Madonna Super Bowl trophy right here. Here's a blue and white vessel, uh, obviously like the, the Virgin Mary type vessel here with an explosion coming out of the top of it. A bright flash like we just saw in Back to the Future there is the the dead baby Jesus. Obviously, you've got to die before you can be resurrected. Okay. So you know this 211 date. Um I keep seeing references for it. That's all I'm saying about it. You know, is it gonna happen on that day? Who the hell knows? But there are a lot of connections to that date. Um, I certainly, I'm, I'm certainly on the lookout for Madonna at the minute. And if something happens with Madonna, I'm going to be a little bit more leery of that date, of course. Um, but of course, I've looked at so many dates now, and and 
the numbers kind of fold back in on themselves, re-reference each other, so it's kind of difficult to actually pick out, you know, when the actual, you know, the the what I was going to say, the big stuff is going to kick off, you know. Um, was there anything else I wanted to show you about this? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think so. I just this was just super interesting that that whole it's just something I hadn't noticed before, and I just happened to notice it. Just happened to be watching it, and um, yeah, I just thought it was mental. Um, and the fact that that number jump there was giving me a February the eleventh date as well. Um, from this five nine again, I just you know it was just <laughs> you know what do you do? What do you do? Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there for this one. Nice little short video. Hopefully, I didn't forget too much there. And uh, yeah, I'll catch on another one here pretty quickly. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.